Hey everybody, it's me Dave again. Anyway, I just wanted to give you some measurements of everything first off so that so that you wouldn't um, be confused on it. Anyway, the cutting board material, HDPE, is going to be approximately 19 millimeters thick. Now, I got to looking at the pipe and I'm thinking this might be fence post piping, really heavy schedule fence post because it's it looks to be a little thin for plumbing pipe. But its actual um, its actual thickness is going to be two point two point nine millimeters on the thickness of it. Now, four of these pieces are going to have to be drilled. I'm going to kind of down so you can see that. Okay, anyway, four of these pieces are going to have to be drilled to attach them to. Now, what I used to attach them was these drywall screws. Now, these drywall screws are a little bit long. I used to these, but they didn't need to be that long at all. Anyway, four pieces need to be drilled, and the drill I used is five millimeters. Check that. So anyway, I've got 24 segments. I haven't drilled anything yet. I'm going to drill out this, but before I do, I'll show you what kind of tool I'm going to use. It's just a hole saw. And the diameter of that piece is going to be 120 millimeters. I'll give you the exact outside dimension after it's cut. That way you'll know too. But anyway, that's it so far. Oh, I was going to show you guys one more thing. Um, I'm going to pan back up here. But sitting up here on the desk right there is um, this is a PMH, that same one that's made of uh, ferrite and steel. And I energized this, I mean, hours, you know, like last night. And it's already like. 5:30 here, but it, you can see it's still it's still locked. So I'm going to leave it right there locked during this whole build up and just show you the the process of building, putting it together and stuff. And all in the meantime, that will still be there locked. Anyway, see you guys in the next one.